Hello and welcome back. We are going to continue with Dark Souls. So <laughs> apparently this guy likes to throw fire in places I've never I never realized he could. There's also unfortunately no indication there, which I don't like. Yeah. Um, that he would throw it there. There's no indication three quarters of the way down these steps either, so I don't know why I'm surprised really. Well, but at least they put that there for when you get up there. And then they repeat it, you know? Yeah. But there wasn't on that on that T intersection of that bridge. Yeah. Which is why I was like, what? I didn't think he could or would. He probably have pillaged that corpse, but you, yeah, that one you might be able to get because of where it is. All right, sure. So, turn to your left. Oh. Uh, no, that's just him. That's his noise okay. for when he throws it. Uh, this is the rapier ones. Don't attack <laughs> when he does that. Yeah. I know it's been a while, so I'll just remind you. Can I... Look, I just want... You can't get behind look, him. You can... Look, we can both get get out of this all we want. Just, just keep backing up. How about that? You don't do enough damage for me to care <laughs> yeah. because of my stamina. So... We're in a stalemate. No. There, see? You backed up. Good job. You figured it out. These guys are still some of the cooler looking enemies, in my opinion, these Balder Knights. Yeah. Back up. And I think, I'm pretty sure that the helmet they wear is the same one from the the guy in the box for Dark Souls 3. Yeah. <clears throat> I think this guy is just going to be a trading blow sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Just because... Oh. Not stamina back. Okay. Undo your little dance back thing again. Oh. I no. Was it worth it? Just a little bit. <laughs> now, we can, yeah. There you go. There. Oh, pillage body. I think. Take that charge. I don't remember. No, there's nothing over here. I just... Because he can come at you when you're trying to get across the next part. Now, uh, that bridge you came across. Technically mm -hmm. speaking, see that building? You can make that jump if you're careful. And there is a dude in there that's a vendor. Oh. <sighs> I do so well with jumping in this game. You, yeah. Um, it, you don't have to. He's not required. He sells really good... Armor, if you're going... He sells the Black Iron Tarkus set. Okay. Which is, like, some of the best armor if you're going for, like, super heavy build. At least at this point in the game. Okay. Now, look at those cages. Yep. Talk to one. Um... By talk, I just mean touch. Uh... Hit... Try the other one. One of them. There you go. Uh... It... It's locked. Okay. You have to get the key. That's a shortcut from the bottom of the area all the way up here. Oh, okay. You know the first bridge you go across with the dude and there's the people up above shooting you with lightning? Yep. It drops you next to the dude. Okay. And then you have a shortcut if you use that that takes you to that same spot. With this part, there's going to be guys with bows that are shooting you. I'd recommend booking it all the way across to get to them. That and he throws fire right there, which is not fun. Oh. There you go. Um, okay, so to your left is the boss. To your right Fingers. is the area that takes you uh, further right it, to that stairwell there. Okay. Takes you up to the guy who's throwing the fire bombs. Okay. So you can kill him. Now he's tough, and I would exploit the doorway. Okay. The Surge, that's what the name of that game is. Sci-fi Dark Souls. Okay. Yeah. Uh, shield up. Because he can technically punch you through the wall, so you have to back down a little bit whenever he attacks. But after he attacks, you basically have some free shots on him. Okay. Jeez! Someone... Chill! There. Free attacks. 
and then you might want to back down and heal. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Once he does that rampage, they're actually down for the count for like a good ten seconds. Yeah, that was. He just has a lot of health, and if he hits you with that rampage, you're screwed. Yeah. So it's gonna be kind of a duck in and out. But getting rid of him makes it so much easier to do stuff. Does he respawn? No. He won't. The other guy will, but he won't. Yeah. Oh, hey. Alright then. Now then. Did you get it out of your system, Billy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I have a stick. <laughs> Here, boy. <laughs> Here, boy. <laughs> knock, knock. Oh, come on. Look, I'm right here. Could just roll around a corner and fire an arrow at him. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe. He's turned pacifist. Come on, get mad. Oh, like oh. the mother's against drunk driving. Oh, that was a mild attack. Try again. Come on. No, I mean seriously. Do something. You're probably gonna have to get into his line of sight for a second. There we go. There we go. Man, I'm glad there's no destructible environments in this. Yeah. You'd be screwed. Jeez, I might as well use my power attacks. So. Yeah. Die now, please. Oh, he's almost dead. Hey. Get mad, not glad. Woo! <laughs> Hello. Some people probably hate it, but I actually love, like, the ridiculousness of some of the stuff you do in this game. Yeah. Like, like this. I mean, this this kind of makes sense. He doesn't seem that smart. No. And, I mean, this. Pr Makes sense that it just pisses him off. I know. There. There you go. Now he's Fuck worth three thousand souls, and he drops that. Ooh. Now, Take that mm, do not hit those balls. No. Not with your lightning spear. It will trigger an explosion. Oh. Well, those are the jars. Yeah, those are the things he's throwing. Okay. Now go around. Uh, I don't mm. think there's anything past them. Makes sense. Um, but yeah, if you hit it with, like, lightning or fire, it will trigger the explosion on them. Okay. Let's not do that. So, killed him, and you got the item. Now, mm -hmm. go off to the right there. <clears throat> so, the set I was telling you about, Black Iron Tarkus. Yep. If you were human, right in that corner on your left-hand side, you could summon him as a helpful NPC for the boss fight. Oh, okay. Um, there is a chance when you do that that he will literally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guy, and if he gets lucky, he will actually push. Now, stop, because you can look over to the right. That's what you're going to fight. Oh. He, there is a tiny, tiny chance that if he gets him into the right position, Black Iron Tarkus can kick his ass off the edge of the thing and end the fight. <laughs> I've seen it happen. I had it happen once in one of my playthroughs, and it was the goddamn funniest thing I'd ever seen. Because Tarkus just charges in, and they start going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and I'm like, this dude's 50 times taller than you, what are you doing? And suddenly, the guy gets stumbles backwards and starts doing like a Mario, I'm about to fall off the cliff on the edge of the thing. And then suddenly, Tarkus just rolls up and hits him, and the dude falls off, and I'm like, what? Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Jesus, Tarkus, which is why everyone in the Souls community is like, Black Iron Tarkus is a badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> he does no elemental damages. No. Maybe. Huh. So. Oh, it's no sound. Oh, that's right. Slumbering is the, that's right. Okay. It makes it so that your spells aren't 
don't make noises. Okay. I forgot it. I'm sorry. I'm thinking the lingering dragon crest ring, and I th- that's in the later ones. Okay. I got it confused. So, he's kind of tough. Mm-hmm. Um, Do I have to worry about my spear <sighs> being lightning? No. Okay. Uh, you're going to worry about two things. <clears throat> being directly underneath him when he does his stompy attack, and okay. being in front of him All right. when he does anything else. Okay. <laughs> Um, the terrain is uneven. That can work to your advantage, because he should do something right now to show you what he can do. He does He does a beam thing. Oh, shit. Okay. In, in front of him, if you're not careful. So this is the Iron Golem. I would get, basically run through his legs and get behind him, and try and stay there for as much of the fight as you can. Damn it. But watch out for that. Other foot. That foot. Now, there's a dude, Black Iron Tarkus will run into the front of him and just fight him head on. <laughs> and I'm just like, Jesus Christ, Tarkus. <laughs> you crazy bastard. <laughs> and you can fall off the edges of this arena, so be careful. Okay. However, he can technically too. But, <laughs> like, like, he's really close to it right now, which is actually surprising to me. Um, uh, yep. Oh shit! Whoa, good dodge on the follow up. Oh, oh. no! Woo. Okay, follow up. Yep. And third? No. Okay. But it's usually pretty hard just, to get him up against the just, cliff edge. But he seems to just want to die today. <laughs> I mean, oh, and then he has a grab. Damn it! Mm, I forgot so about the grab to for the a second. Side. And then he throws you, and he can throw you straight off the side if you're if if you're in the wrong position when he does that. That makes sense. Oh. Eh? Uh, no, nope. nope. Fuck. Welcome to your next boss. Yep. Mm. Uh, by the way, this boss guards what is, in my opinion, the coolest area in the game. Okay. But not... It's the coolest area visually. Okay. Let me put it like that. It's not the coolest area mechanically or, like, design-wise. Okay. But it is the coolest area visually. And you'll understand why if we get past them in this episode. Okay. Well, on the way up, since other dude's dead, let's gather a few things. And a couple souls. Oh, if you go back to the bonfire, you could technically go human if you want to summon Targus. Um, I'll take another one more crack at it, and then okay, just because it's such an easy trek to him. Yeah, well, and that, which is good because he's pretty tough. Yeah, now that, at least, it's easy now that asshole is dead. Yeah. You just stay there. Don't let him. I think you have to buy the key from that vendor guy. Okay. But because of the bonfire placement, it's not that big of a deal, because eventually you get the ability to teleport between them. Yep. So it's only so helpful. Yeah. When do I get that, by the way? Is that coming up soon? Oh, right, arrows. Um, you need the Lord Vessel, which you will get... Two bosses what? after this one, I believe. Okay. I believe you get the Lord Vessel uh, after in the boss after the next boss. Not this one or the next one, but the one after that. Okay. That's what I believe you get it. I get my souls, and now we fight. Yeah. You ain't, you ain't such a big guy. F- uh, fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. No. Yeah. No, not again. Okay, maybe again. Ooh. Oh. Well then. Yeah, he's tough. He His boss fight encapsulates... But half the fighting in this area is, is you're fighting something with big swings and lots of power in a s- relatively small area, comparatively. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, right. I to... if I remember correctly, the first time I fought him, I got grabbed mm-hmm. uh, by him. And he oh. threw me straight off the edge. Like, within five seconds of rolling <laughs> into the fight. <laughs> Alright, I'm here to f- Oh. Yeah. Like, I didn't know what was going on. And I was like, okay, I'll come at him. And I saw him do the beam thing, and I was like, okay, I'll get close to him. And then he starts doing the thing, and I thought he was doing a swing. Mm-hmm. But no, uh-uh. 
he grabs me and literally just hucks me off the side of the area. <laughs> and I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> All right. Calling reversed. He, uh, he's super helpful because he goes so head up, hit toe to toe with him yeah. that he distracts him real good. I mean, you still have to watch out for some of the wider swing arcs and stuff like that and just be careful. Yeah. But it's a lot easier to stay behind him and get some consistent damage on him with yeah. Tarkus there. Yeah. I usually summon him. And now. with how much he seems to like hugging the edge with me, apparently. Yeah, and Tarkus's weapon, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, is Guts's weapon. Oops. Did I activate him? No. Okay. Um, or no. No, he has a mace, I okay. think. I don't remember. I, I'm trying to remember if it's Tarkus from the first game or the second game. I think it's a mace in this one. But he can actually knock the Iron Golem back a little bit. Okay. With uh, his power attack. Okay. Um, if the Iron Golem isn't in the middle of an attack animation already when he goes to do it. Okay. But I do like that you can see him outside of the boss fight. Yeah. Like, he's one of the few bosses where they're like, Look at this, motherfucker! You're not gonna like this! <laughs> and I always feel like that's more threatening than hiding it, you know? Yeah. Like, they're confident enough to show you what you're about to get into. Yep. Why don't they just put a railing on this? Doesn't no. OSHA have anything to say about this? <laughs> yep. Yeah, so you can buy his set. No, oh yeah, he does use the greatsword. Nice. So he uses okay. Guts' as weapon in this one. Okay. Something, 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 something. So, he's Stabbing. in heavy iron armor um, uh, outfit mm -hmm. with a great shield and is one-handing a great sword. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude's a badass by all accounts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, cause so what I'd do is you go in mm -hmm. and just let Tarkus run at him to okay. distract him. Because he will, if you just wait around right here. Because mm -hmm. Tarkus will just go running at him. Tarkus. There you go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you were saying... Uh, okay, well that's glitchy. <laughs> Thanks. All right, well... You're a big you help. Ow. Uh, that was weird. Uh, his AI glitched out for some reason. <laughs> well... Fuck that guy. Yeah, apparently. We'll give it one more try in the episode. Alright. Uh, go human again. You have plenty of humanity. Yeah. Just lost the, like, 10,000 souls. That sucked. <sighs> Trust me, it won't be too bad. The area you're getting to, I usually can farm pretty easily. Okay. <clears throat> so. Alright. Try and get you ahead of the curve a little bit. This game does not like me. No. In all <laughs> fairness, I don't think the game likes really anybody. Yeah, but, I mean, Tarkus was running away. Yeah. Tarkus <laughs> is just like, nah, nah, I'm out. He's got iron, I've got iron. I ain't gonna fight this guy. It's cool. <sighs> now, I don't know if it means anything, but the black iron, the iron golem there... Mm -hmm. He has a black circle, like a black hole in the middle of his armor. Okay. And I, I think, like, it, it makes me think of the dark sign. Okay. But I don't know if it has anything to do with that or not. You know, it's one of those things that could or could not have anything to do with, like, other parts of the lore. Yeah. But I wonder if it does. Like, he was some dude that, like, was just huge, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, got corrupted and turned into, like, a basically an undead hollow, like a mindless hollow. Yeah. But he's just, he's huge and trapped on the top of this building. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Like, I don't know. There's nothing to corroborate that, that as, as far as I know. Yeah. Um, but... Not that it matters all that much. I just mm -hmm. always thought it was interesting to see that thing. Oh. Yeah. Second. Mm -hmm. there go. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> oh, the mouse is in the way of it. Oh, yeah. And since it's picking it up and I can't get it to turn off. Sorry. It's been oh, there for a while. Oh, it was picking it up? Yeah, it was picking it up. 
It's oh. been there for a while. It's fine. Yeah. It's my fault. I, I I forget that the thing... I can't... I change the setting to turn it off so it wouldn't pick up the mouse, but it just ignores it. Uh, for some reason. All right. Yeah. Tarkus. Okay. So he's not retarded. Kind of. Now will you go attack him? <laughs> now you he's going to go. You go. Just go towards him. Just make sure you block. The fuck, Tarkus? I don't think he wants to fight him until he gets close enough. Which is weird because usually Tar... There he goes. Just look at that. He does more damage than you do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. He's going to be thrown straight off. Don't you it. dare. Oh! Tarkus barely <laughs> living. So, if he doesn't get the knockoff, he just does a good amount of damage. You just have to be careful because he can die, and if he dies, your distraction's gone. Yeah. I am the distraction. Oak. Jesus. Yeah, Tarkus is, um... Oh, he knocked him down, see? Tarkus can knock this motherfucker down. Keep going, what are you oh, waiting he, for? He, he's, uh, he's waiting for his stamina to come back. I suppose knocking down that thing is probably... Pretty, pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. so, Tarkus. Trivializing everything he comes up against. <laughs> like a goddamn badass. Why am I here? I know, right? <laughs> what? Oh. You got 40,000 souls for that, by the way. Well, that makes up for the 10 I met. I lost. Cause yeah. Tark is running away. Yeah. <laughs> I will not fight my <laughs> brother. That ring seriously looks like a gl that other glitch we saw like 10 episodes ago. Oh, I know. Tarkus? Tarkus the fuck did you go? <laughs> Tarkus, help me, you bitch! <laughs> Tarkus, no! <laughs> I love you! <laughs> they are not going to kill you here. That would be a real dick move. Yeah, cutscene murder. <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite area in the game. I hate parts of it mechanically, but it looks so cool compared to the rest of the game. Yeah. Because it's bright. And clean. Okay. So all the other areas are all disgusting, right? Yeah. But this area is actually really clean looking. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is on Orlando. Okay. The city of the gods. This is where Gwyn's palace is. That's his palace. Okay. Things all nice all of a sudden. Yeah. Right? And that's why there's this is like the second phase, the tonal shift sort of thing. Mm -hmm. When things start getting kind of serious because like the environments are really different suddenly. And also you're fighting giants. Uh, if you don't get too close to him, he will leave you alone. So if you go up and you go immediately to your left and in and then straight forward, he will leave you alone right now. However, Hi. what I do most of the time is I will farm these guys eventually, but do not attack him right now. Okay. <laughs> For the sake of progress and not losing 41,000 souls. Hi. So then go right off to your right because there's two more to your left. Bye. Granted, they're also protecting treasure chests. And there's two more down there also protecting treasure chests. Damn. And another one on the outside just like that one. So I'm going to go over there. That will be your main path. However, go to your left first. Okay. Ah. ah, yay. Good. Yep. They're not assholes. That's why those guys won't aggro unless you get really close. Hi. <clears throat> that is a really interesting character. Okay. Why not? All right, I'll be good on stamina for quite a while. Yeah. And maybe that'll actually give me enough to... Go ahead and talk to that character quick. Before. All right. Because this is cool. And I'm going to show oh, you hey, something. Oh, hey, tennis is class. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, 
a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. For Exodus? Oh! She is a firekeeper. Okay. Yes. Oh. You don't have a soul, but she is a firekeeper, which is weird. <clears throat> yeah. She's one of the few firekeepers you see that are like warrior firekeepers. Yeah. Which is really interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you might be able to wear some heavier stuff. Hit X. It's gonna up the weight by actually I think that's close to five, but I upped it by six. Do you still have your fast roll? Nope. Nope. Heavy roll. So maybe. Try taking off the helm hands, yeah, switch them to something lighter. Yeah. First of all, no, I don't need that. I just need to see. Right. First of all, lightest gloves I can get. Yeah. Okay. Try the try the dark leather ones. Mm hmm Or yeah, try the dark the hard leather, the dark leather. Oh the hard leather is three point five, that's way too much. Right. Yeah. It's almost equal. Yeah. Or can you know just look at my encumbrance and so yep. it's half? Yeah, fifty percent. <clears throat> so you need under thirty 32.5 is what you need under, so yeah, you'll have to go with the lightest ones, it yeah. looks like. That's okay, though. I think, uh, I think yeah, those should be fine. Am I going to be point... No, you're point one over. God damn. <laughs> Alright, fine. Go with the crimson one, I guess. Well, maybe I will get a little more <laughs> encumbrance just so I don't I can so, get that extra point one. Can I show you one thing really quick? Because we're before we end the episode. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna take you somewhere. I'm a passenger now. Yep. <laughs> I just want to show you something. I don't want to actually make you go through this. Okay. I have to get used because I don't usually use spears. Ah. And that, but. That's my only fault. <laughs> okay. You. Yeah, I know you don't like me, but oh, fuck wow, off. That didn't take He's, much stamina they, no, at all. They, if they hit you, they do a ton of damage and they do a lot of crushing blows like that, but they're actually not bad. You basically can just circle them and bait out this shield thing, and if you're off to the side, you either take tiny bits of damage or none at all. Okay. No backstabs? No. Too big. <laughs> But yeah, you can bait. These guys are easy to bait out. They're yeah. stupid as all hell. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> they do that though, which is really funny to watch. But <laughs> super nimble for no reason. If all you're of a if you're too close to them when they do the slam, though, the back, the bottom edge of the shield does hit you when it comes down. It seems. Okay. And so you'll still take damage. So you want to be behind them, but just a little ways away from them when they do that. Okay. And if they're in front, if you're in front of them and you try and hit them, their shield will make you do like four damage. <laughs> Okay. So they're like impossible to kill from the front anyway. Yeah. The only reason I did that is because I want to show you what's up here. Now this is not progress right now. It's later. But. What the hell? So if you try and come this way, right? And you don't listen to her. And you try and come up here and say you get past that guy. Mm -hmm. Huh. You can't come here yet. The game will show you when you can. Okay. Um, it will literally show there's several areas like that. Those areas are phase three of the game. Okay. That's act three, basically, is behind all of those gates, and there's three or four of them. Okay. So you know that area past the wit spider lady? Yeah. Uh, there's one down there in that area that okay. blocks off a secondary area from that first part that you could have gone into. Okay. I just wouldn't because it's really tough right now. Mm -hmm. Um and then there is uh, another one. There's that one, and then another one in um in the forest, I believe. I don't, I don't remember exactly what the third one is off the top of my head. Um, okay. But when you you get it, when you get the thing that allows you to teleport, it also opens those up. Okay. That's when you know you've hit the last phase of the game, where you're basically finding the strongest souls. Okay. And bringing them together in order to get to <clears throat> Gwyn. Okay. So. 
But I thought you might find that kind of interesting. So yeah. I wanted to show it to you while we are here. Alright, um, yeah. But you're going to be going through Honor Londo next, the City of the Gods. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to fight... Oh, if you f when you get there, you're going to fight my favorite boss fight and also my least favorite boss fight. Okay. Uh, which is the brothers, or not brothers, but the partners. The two-on-one. Oh, okay. Ornstein and Smo. Oh, okay. The fast lion-headed dude and the big fat guy with the huge hammer. Yep. That's the boss fight of this area. Okay. So. But we'll uh, we'll pick this up in the next episode, and we'll deal with that then. Watch out for the guy on the side. Yep. No, that's why I'm here. Yep. Practice. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um... Yeah. We made a, actually a good chunk good of progress. Yeah. I, I mean, it took a little time to get you back into the swing of things, but once we got there and beat a boss fight, you got through that entire area mm -hmm. faster than I thought you would, because that area is really annoying and tricky and trappy. Yep. And I, I spent a long time in there trying to figure out where everything was, so... Mm -hmm. But, hey, and now we're in Honor Londo, so... But I can absorb that, at least. Yeah, see that? See, if you get hit by it, that's the problem. Yep. It doesn't do a lot of stamina damage, but it does a hell of a lot of health damage. Yeah, that one in particular takes out all my stamina, too. Yeah. Um, but, uh, we'll get to those guys eventually. Oh, that's right. You're also going to see the most bullshit part in this entire game. Okay. Um, so you know how, like, the first boss... Oh, there's a follow-up. You are saying? So you know how I was saying, uh, the first boss is usually a big drop-off point for a lot of players? Yeah. Because it's so tough? Yep. Or at least it appears to be tough, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, in those first few areas, a lot of people tend to give up. Uh, mm -hmm. there's another cutoff point for mid-level players, and okay. it's in this area. Okay. And it's the part I'm talking about that sucks so much, and you're gonna probably encounter it in the next episode of the one after that. Okay. It's really stupid, and you'll completely understand why when you see it. Because okay. I'm pretty sure rea your reaction, and I'm going to call it now, is going to be something like, Oh, come on, that's totally bullshit. Mm -hmm. Because it is. Fuck. It's, it's, I think it's like one of the few moments in the game where I truly thought something was complete ass. Yeah. In terms of a design for an, like an encounter. Mm -hmm. um, fortunately, that is a rare thing, I think, in this game. And not the norm. Unlike Dark Souls 2. <laughs> yep. So, anyway, uh, that's that's a long enough outro. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, outro episode. The, yeah. It, four, four, 20 oh. minutes of play time, an hour and a half of outro. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That'd be pretty normal for me, actually. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you in the next episode of Dark Souls on Orlando Edition. Or as I like to call it, Giant Boogaloo. <laughs> Bye. Bye.